Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using React.js and Firebase. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will start creating the React.js project. We will see how to set up Firebase project. Finally, we will check how to integrate Firebase with the React project. Let us now and in let's install Visual Studio Code. I have a Windows 64 bit system, so we'll download accordingly. Let's install it. Visual Studio Code is now installed successfully. Install Node.js. First let us download the installer file. Let's install. Let's verify the installation by checking the node and npm version. We have successfully installed node.js. Let's create the React.js project. Just open up the command prompt and type the command npx create react app and the name of our project. Let's open the project in Visual Studio Code. Let's simply run the project and see how it looks. We see a default template. Let's remove all this and put a simple header tag. Upon saving, the page refreshes automatically. We have now successfully created the React project. Let us now create the Firebase project and a database. Click on Go to Console. Let's create a project. Give it a name.
Project is now created. Let us now create a database for our app to store the notes list. Start in test mode. Let's give the collection name as notes. Let's also add some notes. We can use auto-generated ID for each notes. Let's add our first note. Let's also add another notes. The Firebase database is now ready to be used. Let us now integrate the Firebase with our React project. We need to install the Firebase npm package to our React project. So let's write the command npm install Firebase. Next let us create the file firebase.js to store the configuration details. We need to import couple of modules from Firebase. Next, let us copy the configuration details from Firebase console. Click on web. Let's give a name to our app. and copy the Firebase configuration from here. Now we need to export the initialized app. Firebase is now configured and ready to be used in our project. Let us now add the HTML and the methods required for our app. We need to make few modifications to the app.js file. We need to modify it as a component so that we can add the methods. Let us now add the constructor for this class. Superprops will basically help initialize the parent constructor as well. In the state, we can include the variables to be accessed in HTML. We just need one array variable to display the notes. Next, let us write method to get data from Firebase into the notes array. Let's declare a local array. Now we need to get reference of the Firestore using the Firebase app. Next, we need to get the reference of the notes collection. Next, we will get the snapshot of the notes collection. We need to write A for each loop on the snapshot to get the data in the format as needed. We will be getting the description and ID of each notes.
Next, we will use the setState method to update the notes collection data. We have a lifecycle method call component did mount which will execute once page is loaded. We will be calling the refresh notes method here. Let's use the notes variable to display results in HTML. We need to first declare the state variables in render method. Now let's display the data in HTML. Let's check if this works. We need to import the app configuration from Firestore.js file. We see that the data is displayed in single line. Let's make use of paragraph tag to display each notes in a different line. We see that the data is displayed as expected. Now let's add the text box and button to add new notes into the collection. Let's also add a button to delete a particular note. We need to pass the ID of the note to be deleted. Let's check if this looks OK. We see that everything looks OK so far. Let's add the method to add new notes into the collection. Let's first capture the input data from text box. Next, we need to create a JSON-like object using the notes data. Next, we need to create a reference variable for our Firestore. Using this, we will create a reference for notes collection. We can make use of add doc method to add new notes. Once done, we can refresh the list to display updated data. Similarly, let's implement the delete method. We need to create a reference the document using the particular ID. And make use of delete doc method to delete the notes. Let's check if this works. We see that we are able to add and delete the notes and the app works as expected. 